Hello everybody. Uh, in this section we're going to talk about the different types of discontinuities of a function. As you can see up here in black we have a removable, also known as a point discontinuity. Now, see we have a function and then there's some kind of hole or open, open circle. Um, the function usually isn't defined there. Or maybe it could possibly be oh, the value of the function could be placed above or below. Um, but that dot does not have to be there for it to be a removable or point discontinuity. Probably the next most common is the jump discontinuity. It looks like the function stops and then jumps from one to another. A uh, situation like this, one will have an open circle, one will have a closed circle. Jump discontinuity. Next we have infinite discontinuity and that's usually going to be entailing a vertical asymptote of some kind. Here I have a vertical asymptote shown right here and the function goes up forever coming from the left, goes down forever coming from the right. That is an infinite discontinuity. And the last one is a rare one, um, oscillating discontinuity. A function of this type, if you want to graph y equals sine of 1 over x, look at that on your calculator. Make sure you're in radians if you're using a graphing calculator. And you will see that um, a function like this oscillates an infinite number of times um, at a converging at a single point. Like the picture I have here, it's oscillating. There's some kind of trig, sine or cosine involved. But as we get close to this value, the oscillation um, increases and it also gets smaller. Um, so it, even though physically as we draw it, it may look continuous in these rare situations, um, it's called an oscillating discontinuity. Um, if we were to graph such a function and zoom in to the point in question an infinite number of times, um, you would see the, the screen almost looks like a, uh, an actual barcode. I like to call this the barcode effect. So if you were to graph the yeah, y equals sine of 1 over x on your calculator and just hit zoom in on the origin, you'll see it. Um, your screen will almost look like a barcode after zooming in four or five times.